5 the risk were high 4 it was a race against time 3 there were nail biting moments 2 we are going in a marathon race 1 no countries reached mars in the very first attempt 0 that is the indian space research organization was formed in the 1960s based on the experience we gained and growing the space science community within the country isro decided that we could go further out and go into interplanetary space and go to mars i am sita i work as the program director here I coordinate all the space science activities of ISRO. MOM or the Mars Orbiter mission was a mission to prove that we have the capability to actually reach a planet and orbit around it. That itself was a big challenge. MOM had to be built within 18 months. It was a race against time because we were all first timers. working for an interplanetary mission I don't think I ever thought I would be working in Isro satellite center if you are doing mission operations you really don't need to watch a science fiction movie we see that excitement in our day to day lives I'm Nandini Harinath I was designated as a project manager mission design and a deputy operations director for the Mars orbiter mission the placement of earth and mars such that you traverse with minimum energy that comes once in 2 years we wanted to get into a capture orbit capture orbit in the sense this orbiter remains around mars we went for an elliptical orbit because a more circular orbit would have required more fuel the main purpose of mars orbiter mission was to derive many other technologies launching insertion in the orbit autonomy but also we should have payloads so that our scientists also start working on the mars atmosphere mars science which will be helpful for the future missions and i was deployed in this project i am minal rohit and uh, i am a scientist engineer and i was project manager for methane sensors for mars that's one of the payloads which was flown in the mars orbiter mission when i was small i saw many scientists wearing white garments and it was so fascinating and at that moment i got like how oh, wow how good to be there one challenge was all the payloads were made small and compact 15 kilograms for all the payloads and this payloads had to be built for the rugged space environment so that was a challenge methane sensor for mars i consider it's a first baby the presence of methane indirectly hints at the possibility of the presence of life that was one of the reasons why that payload was extremely important So for that itself in very less time was there hardly i think 6 months and we had to come up with all designs all concept model everything Dr Sita she is a very strict lady okay <laughs> she was very particular like what is the primary objective whether your camera is going to meet that how going to meet that how you going to demonstrate it that was very stressful we have a mass color camera MCC it was for outreach to the country uh, motivation and enthusiasm into the public they wanted to bring in every launch gives me butterflies in the stomach <laughs> the weather was not favorable five or six days was delayed already the margins were getting eaten up stand by for the time mark mark means 1 minute and counting please lift off please lift off 3 2 we were relieved and happy that uh, the launch vehicle had put us in the right orbit after uh, some few hours mars color camera was going to be on india came up there 
<laughs> and that was the moment. We needed a certain velocity to get out of the Earth's sphere of influence. And we couldn't do it in one shot because our engine wasn't that powerful. So we had to gain that energy slowly. So every time we went around the Earth, we would fire the engine to get that extra energy. So after six such burns, the orbiter had enough velocity to exit from the Earth's sphere of influence and it went into the cruise. to Mars that was about nine months. It's like a baby's delivered but nine months in the womb it has to be taken care. Now Mars orbit insertion was the grand day that was 24th September 2014, we'll never forget it in all our lives. Of course, the Mars orbit insertion, that was the most critical uh, maneuver. If we had had slightly less velocity, we would have crashed onto Mars. If we had had more velocity, we would have just gone off as a flyby. It's like hitting a bullseye on a dartboard, standing some few 10,000 kilometers away. We monitored it. It went behind Mars and then for two to three minutes we just were holding our breath. Communication was established and we saw the telemetry and that it was in orbit. That was probably the sweetest words we heard on that day. All protocol was broken. Everybody got up from the consoles. <laughs> it was excellent moment. I, I, people will never forget that moment. Then Madam Sita asked, what is where is the data? <laughs> now the focus turned on the camera. Disk images from various Mars missions were actually using mosaic images of using several hundred images. And because the orbit, the farthest point was 80,000 kilometers away, we could get the entire Mars disk in one single frame. And so that was what caught the public eye. That is a reward. We are there. We are there looking with our own eyes. We had designed it for a six month lifetime. And since our instruments are working well, we continue to operate the mission and take as much data as we can. I think to date, only 40% of the missions to Mars were successful and we've done that in the first attempt. <laughs> and it was done on a shoestring budget and then in a very short time. There are hundreds of engineers who have worked day and night to push this on time. When I started my career, there were a few ladies working along with me and now there are quite a lot of women in both science and engineering working in this room. This has been a great stepping stone for ISRO to get the confidence for going farther out into space. It was one event in which the whole country participated. So there were schools watching it live and there were so many people looking at it at that point of time.
when i was uh, like small i had a dream to help common man when they see something like this and newspaper and media and then they really feel that yes why not